Hey everybody, Dirty Jamie. I made this video about a month ago and uh, I never made an intro to it. I just, it's on my transmission, of course that'll be on the title. 46RE, very popular transmission. I've had it apart once before and uh, it's just acting odd. The end result was I needed to change my uh, throttle position sensor, otherwise accelerator pedal position sensor, depending on uh, which model of injection pump and so forth computer stuff you have I usually keep my videos short but this one I mean I didn't I, I'm dragging it out right now I split the valve body in the middle of this video you don't need to do that and there's I didn't explain what I was doing there in this video but uh, it's where I drop the check ball I go over uh, adjusting the bands what bolts you need to take out the valve body uh, the e-clip to get the parking rod off that one kicked my ass and uh, anyways enjoy so the bolts to take the valve body out are this one this one that one this one this one that one and then four over here one two three four so six ten bolts eleven millimeter on the other side of the pickup now just because I didn't have tools in the way when you take that last bolt out you're gonna get some oil so have your pan ready which I did don't take the last one out all the way. Just break it loose and let it drain. And give it a minute, come back, and take that last one out. It should drop right down. You'll be careful where the wire harness goes up through the valve, or I'm sorry, the transmission housing. It's got an O-ring on it, I believe. So just be gentle with that. The spring up in here is gonna push this side down more. It's kind of loose right now, but eh, you know what? I take it back. It doesn't seem to be pushing. Let it drain. Finish taking it out. So the E-clip on the parking rod right at the end of my finger right there. I've kind of pulled the valve body down, rotated it so I could see that sucker. Um, light is crucial here. I mean, I'm thinking I can do it from memory, but I'm still struggling. So I'll get a screwdriver on that sucker, pop it off, leave that parking rod in there to save myself some agony. So here it is. Kind of some bad news. It's not what I thought. The part that was broken last time is intact. But I have a new part to replace this part. And here it is, it goes over there, and it has that little nubbin on it to hold the spring, a lot heavier metal, and this evacuation hole is bigger, quite a bit bigger. Uh, maybe that'll help, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna do some extra work this time. I'm gonna go through, blow a lot of air in any of these ports I see, clean a little better. I might take apart more than I did last time. See if I find some foreign particles in there. Uh, I don't know if that's it yet. So one of the trickier parts that is under there in the dark, how do you get the linkage off the top? You got a bolt here, loosen that up. This is your, from your throttle kick down cable causes it to shift down twist that little shaft on the inside then your shifter linkage very similar loosen up this bolt square knot on the other side just like that first one slip it off of there you might have to pry it you know sometimes they get stuck on there a little bit that's that this has a wire connector on the top you just squeeze it you have to find out where the little catch is you pinch it and wiggle it off of there 
So I probably went a little deeper than I should have here. But uh, yeah, I dropped one of these check balls and another one. But I figured out where they go watching another video. It's a long video, but if you're going to do this, I'm not going to guide you through it because I don't know what I'm doing. I know I can get this back together, but I just want to make sure it's clean. I noticed I'm missing a filter. Should be right there. Filter's not going to affect performance. That is a secondary filter to the primary. Um, don't need it. Um, I could see if I can get one tomorrow, but I'm not going to. All right, so we got her back together really clean. Um, I got the new part installed here. And the accumulator spring, I wanted to replace it, but I don't want to wait for it. So we reinstalled it, it's under here. Everything was fitting really well. I didn't see anything marred up. Everything slid really well. I kind of pushed all the valves I could access in and out. You know, you can get not this one particularly. Some of them you can get a tool on once I had this off. I slid it in and out. Make sure it slid smooth. It does. Um, and all the other ones I could get to. Here's one right here. See? Nothing sticking. Very smooth operation. And we're going to reinstall it. Back at the valve body, we shifted it. This is as far back as it'll go to get the parking rod in there. It's gonna be much easier to get that E-clip underneath with it back here. If it's all the way forward, you can't get to it at all. So, you get the idea. <laughs> All right, so recap here. We were having shift problems. I didn't really make an intro video. We'll see if I make one later and put it in the beginning. Took the oil out, took the pan off, took the filter off, took the valve body out. The part that I thought was broken wasn't. <clears throat> took the valve body apart on a whim thinking maybe I'd find a broken spring or some debris or something. No, looked fine. Check the uh, accumulator piston and spring. I remember the last time I looked at that accumulator spring, um, I had a kit that came with a smaller spring, and I already had that transmission rebuilt, so it already had a heavier spring in it. I left it. I looked at it again. It comes up just flush with the top of the cover plate which looks good left it put it back together put the valve body in uh let's talk about that for a second so the parking rod that's like the worst part of this whole project um there's an e-clip on the parking rod i've never been able to get the parking rod out the two times only two times i say never but the two times i've taken the valve body out i just take the e-clip off and leave the parking rod in there it's not that bad. You'll drop the E-clip. You gotta find it. <clears throat> Putting it back together. That just took me a little over two hours, I think. Just because of the E-clip. I dropped it twice. Both times took me for fucking ever to find it. Just one time it was actually on the valve body. The other time it was in the gravel. I was just about ready to cry. Um, we're done with that. Uh, oh, put, get a piece of copper wire, like speaker wire, and strip it. Take one strand, about, I don't know, three inches, two inches. Put it on that E-clip. So as you're trying to put it up in there, if you drop the fucking thing, that wire will help you find it. It also will keep you from dropping it. And then when you're done, you just pull it off. Don't give, don't twist the shit out of it. If you just give it a one or two twists, you can pull that wire right off of there. I saw that on another video, and that was what I did after I dropped it twice. 
should have done it the first time. Yeah, copper wire, a little one strand piece. Uh, now we're going to put the filter in, put the pan in, fill it full of oil. Pretty much the end of the video. Oh, I have to finish adjusting that <clears throat> uh, front band. Was it the front? Yeah, I think it's the front. The one that's on the outside of the transmission housing. I'll get that adjusted. I mean, it's late now. It's dark. I got a lantern out there. Um, I like using my little Coleman lantern. It's good radiant light. And, uh, good luck, everybody. Uh, watch that fucking e clip. I don't know what else to tell you. Like and share. Thanks.